Okay, well, <clears throat> good morning, everyone, and thank you for waking up early. Um, I know the struggle. So I'm going to talk about my PhD project, which is a new phylogeny on basal sauropodomorphs. And I'm mostly going to talk about the approach I'm using of the supermatrix, rather than uh, all of the conclusions that I'm addressing in my PhD. So these are fairly new pictures. Basically, my PhD focuses on knowing how uh, we pass from platysaurus to cetiosaurus, or from a bipedal stance to a quadrupedal one. And, well, those dinosaurs, if you were yesterday in the icebreaker, you already know them. So that's the group I'm working with. Uh, the supermatrix approach. <coughs> so the supermatrix approach basically has this philosophical background of uh, the fossil record is already a sampling process. So if you can use as many fossils as you, as you can, and as many characters as you can, then you are approaching closer to uh, a more valid model. So that's the uh, background of using the supermatrix approach. It's obviously, you can argue some points of it. And what you see here is a composition of the character matrix. Of I did a literature review basically from 1850 uh, all the way to now. And you can see um, the composition of characters per author. And the abstract is already outdated because I, uh, when I submitted it, it was 700 something. Now it's 830, and I'm right now working on 24 characters more. Uh, basically, because most of the features on this is a platysaurus neck, most of the features that we attributed to prosauropods or basal sauropods are simply coded as primitive, whereas all of these variants of, for instance, in the laminium vertebrae is hidden by the, coding, by the scores on the current coding. And I'm right now using 87 taxa. So this is just to tell you how important it is to have a, a, a review or a biased phylogenetic uh, background. These are the three contested uh, hypotheses, the current ones, on how basal sauropodomorphs evolved into sauropods. And this drawing here allows you to visualize the changes from bipedality to quadrupedality. So more or less, there's a consensus that the group is paraphyletic and that it's, it's been a change from bipedals to quadrupedals. And prosauropods somehow are a transition between those two stances. Uh, the problem with this is that we are never using the same uh, taxa. So what you have here is a graph, it's a, it's a, sorry, it's a table that summarizes the proportion of characters that have been scored for each taxa, for each taxon here. So you have, it, it's obviously not the full list. It keeps going on and on. And on. Um, so Platosaurus is the only prosauropod that has been scored for every single character that I have. It's because that's considered like the um, classic or traditional prosauropod. So obviously there is a bias if you are only using Platosaurus and everything else. So what I'm doing right now is trying to update so that this percentage of applicability of characters starts to go to all of them. And you have some taxa here at the bottom that have never been used. And well, if you see this one, this is mass spondylus. This is a specimen of mass spondylus. So it should be used. And it's quite, it's fairly complete. So moving on to my, my, my results. Um, I'm showing two, two results. One, the one that I got with the majority rule, which is kind of the nicest one. And it's basically showing like um, how often some clades appear after this is done after 1,000 MPTs. So um, it's fairly robust for a majority rule. And you can see that uh, some of these groups, so Platosauridae here, Riohasauridae, and what is interesting is that Rhinosauride is always been considered a quadrupedal clay, but quadrupedality would have started appearing here. So Rhinosaurids would have started to develop uh, quadrupedality as a conversion compared to the other ones here below. Also, we have the bipedal forms over here. Um, and if we move a bit down in the tree, here is Yohasauride. Then we have Mass Spondylidae, which is a clade where most or all of them are considered um, bipedals. 
Then we have Anchisauria, which is the claim that it's where supposedly quadrupeds that started to appear for the first time. And then we move on all the way to sauropods. However, if you do a strict consensus of this and bootstrap, you get a different result. You get pay, uh, fairly the same clades, um, but then you have a problem here on top. Uh, theropods and ornithischians are clustered together. Uh, with eight, 830 characters, they are still clustered together if you do a strict consensus or a bootstrap. Uh, although it made the news recently because of a paper done by Baron et al. Um, that hypothesis is definitely not new. The first time it was reported was in Sequi et al. 2010, but he didn't discuss anything about it. Um, and, well, yeah, the, the most contrasting part is that uh, Anchisaur here is a more robust clade, but you still have Rioja Sauride here as the sister, uh, in a sister tax or more racial position towards Anchisaur. So that would mean that quadrupedality evolved independently at least twice uh, in prosaurus. Here you have some characters comparing Rioja with Melanorosaurus, which is a quadrupedal. And you can see uh, this characteristic here that is present only in quadrupeds but not in bipeds. Uh, also this characteristic here on the ilium. What is interesting is that although these are quadrupeds, Platosaurus, which is um, an obligate bipedal, had the same feature as well. Um, and finally, I'm going to finish this talk with this quote that I found in a paper which I completely relate to. Uh, this, the, that's definitely the most frustrating group <coughs> on the literature. And every time someone goes into it, it just makes the mess a lot bigger. So that's what I did. Um, <laughs> and yeah, the struggle is real. I'm pretty sure for everyone, it's real. Um, this is just realer. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, I just want to acknowledge all of the museums that have hosted me during this time and to my program in Mexico for funding this project. Um, yeah, I'm done. <laughs>